Hi, welcome back. Uh, it's Debbie, and I'm sorry about my appearance, but it's been one of those days where lupus has decided to keep me very tired, and um, I slept in all day, kind of got up a little bit, you know, went to the bathroom and watched a couple of videos, went back to sleep. I am in my one of my nightgowns and my favorite cozy robe. <coughs> Excuse me. And I would pop on here and do a little video, kind of say hello. I am on my um, webcam. Just, uh, it was the easiest thing to do, excuse me. Um, as you can see, if you can, my rosacea has been, or is acting up. And that usually happens when I start to flare up with um, my lupus and even my RA. When my arthritis starts bothering me a lot, I notice that my skin will get redder. I put my most favorite treatment for my rosacea, which is the prosacea. I've talked about that a few times in favorites. So if you want to search some of my favorites, um, you can um, find it there. And I'll put a link down below uh, when I edit this of uh, what it is and where you can get it. I buy mine at CVS and you also can find them on um, Amazon. And it, it's it's just fantastic. I had a lot of red and excuse me, redness and white color bumps. They're not the milia like this here on my cheek. I don't have my glasses or contacts. So I'm kind of feeling, I think it's around here. That's milia, but when I have a like flare of the rosacea. I get these really big white bumps and they sort of look like white pimples. And in fact, I've made mistakes before trying to, you know, take one of those little poppers, the, like a tool a dermatologist uses. You can buy them in the um, uh, drugstore or wherever. A lot of people use them for like blackheads, maybe on your nose or something. Well, I tried to see last night if I could maybe pop one of those they're not poppable and luckily it didn't damage my skin so I just put on my prosacea and let it dry a little bit and then I put um I forget I think I used my CeraVe um moisturizer because I really like that in a pinch not in a pinch always uh, there's a couple moisturizers that I do use I I have done a um evening on get ready with me or whatever you want to call it <clears throat> sorry if my voice gets a little bit raspy but uh, I've been having troubles with the raspiness I have um, COPD which is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and I did not get it from smoking I was never really a smoker I probably picked up a cigarette a few times in my life you know when I was out with my friends having a drink or at a dance club um, but mine is from having lupus and having a, um, a compromised immune system um, and also from secondhand smoke. I uh, was surrounded a lot, unfortunately, with smoke growing up. My parents never smoked. Well, they did, but before I was born. And in about the 80s, my dad liked to smoke cigars, but he was... You know good about it he'd go outside or not really do it around my brother and I but a lot of my aunts and uncles cousins and even my friends smoked so a lot of that secondhand smoke um, contributed to me now having lung disease uh, or a lung disease also have asthma too and um, the COPD I really believe is more from having lupus uh, when you have lupus, you are very susceptible to getting uh, different diseases because your body creates these autoimmune cells. And um, it's not like having AIDS or HIV. That's totally different. But they create these autoantibodies. And let's say that they're like other cells where you think that they're going to help maybe if you have a cold they'll help that cold go away but these cells are let's say blind so they will spot my lungs and think that there's something wrong with them and attack the lungs but there's really nothing wrong with them but they make something wrong with them if that makes sense 
So anyway, um, that's just kind of a brief description of what lupus is and what it does. Um, lupus is called the great pretender because it does like to pretend that it's a lot of different things and that's why it takes so long for people to be diagnosed. Um, I have started a blog. I will put that um, link to the blog. I'm sorry, I shook the camera down below too in the information section. And I am going to be just writing about lupus, about my life. I'm going to incorporate some beauty stuff. I did have a blog over on Blogger, but I wasn't happy with the layout. And I just, for some reason, I really wanted to go to WordPress. And so I've gone over to WordPress and I've started a whole new blog. Um, I do have my blog entries from my blogger blog uh, saved, so I was able to do that. And I did that for myself. They're just in a, in a private folder that I have, um, just so that I can look back on things. Um, I think blogging is really good for not only other people reading and they get to kind of learn about other people and their lives or what they do or um but it's good for the person it's very therapeutic it's very um it's comforting to have a little place to go to when i was younger in my 20s um and early 30s i kept journals a lot and uh unfortunately in a time when i was going through a really rough time I threw a bunch of them out in the garbage but I do still have some and sometimes I'll look back at them and I kind of laugh because there's things that I went through that seemed to be so bad and they were bad at that time but you know I'm 51 years old I'm going to be 52 in November and I think as you get older uh, problems don't seem to be as bad or as big as they were when you're younger and also um, I really believe that when you're diagnosed with a illness as serious as lupus um, or any serious disease whether it's a chronic or it's something like cancer which is terrible horrific you sort of change and things that used to bother you you realize they're not really that important anymore. What's important is your life and and being thankful for the little things that happen. And I'm so grateful um, for the things that I, you know, have in my life. And, and I'm not really talking about like, okay, I have a couple Louis Vuittons and whatever. I'm talking about the love I have from my husband and the support and love I have from my family and the friends that I have. Unfortunately, I don't really have friends that live close to me. Um, I think that happens a lot when you work, your friends that you work with or the people you work with sort of become your friends and you, you hang out with them and do things. And <clears throat> I had to stop working because of my health and people didn't really stick around. And at first that really bothered me. I felt very let, you know, not let go, but very, I don't know. I just felt horrible. I felt like they didn't care unless I was able to hang out with them or do something. And then I realized, you know, people have their own lives. And unfortunately, you're not going to find a lot of people that are going to stick with you. Um, my closest friends are my friends that live far away that I have known many, many years. Some of them I have not seen in many years, but we're very close and we have that connection and that bond that maybe somebody new will come along, a new friendship. I don't think that they will be as close as those people. And there's you know, a couple people that I have met through YouTube that have become so important to me in my life. And so I'm very grateful for technology, for Facebook. Facebook has, has helped me to reconnect with almost every single friend I've had in my life except for one. And I think that's because she's not on Facebook. Um, 
but I'll keep trying to find her, you know. It, it's just really interesting. We do get upset with um, modern technology and Facebook. Uh, there's a lot of crap on it and people like to start trouble. And But, you know, at my age, I just ignore that drama. Um, I really don't care. It's like, you know, some people have nothing better to do. Same thing here with like YouTube. Um, I'm fortunately, I'm fortunate enough, excuse me, that I haven't had much people where they have been mean to me. Um, I do recall about three years ago, I had someone that said some awful things to me and this person was just a troll. I mean, he said that I was a waste of makeup because um, I have such an ugly face and that um, I could tell he knew nothing about me because he kept repeating, oh, you are so fat, you're going to die, you're going to die. And, you know, the thing is, if people, if he did know me, he would know that, you know, I have a, a disease and this here is a lot of swelling. I'm not skinny, you know, I do have extra weight, but I am... You know, and even if he did know me, maybe he wouldn't care. You know, I could go on and on with that. But at that time, I guess my message is that at that time, I was really upset. But that stuff doesn't bother me anymore. Because if somebody's going to say that, they don't know me. And I really don't care. You know, what I care about is people that I do know. You know, and people that mean something to me. So... You know, it's going on 12 minutes. I'll probably talk a few more. I'm just kind of catching up with you. Um, haven't done a beauty related video for a little bit. I'm going to be doing some just that uh, with the rain that we've been having. And um, I live in an area where we were going to be in the path of Hurricane Hermione, but it went north. And we had a couple days where at night, we had vicious rainstorms. Thankfully, there was no damage. Um, my husband and I live in a condominium and we are not ground floor. So uh, that's that helps a lot too with flooding. Uh, where we live, and in fact, I think all of Florida, if I'm correct in speaking, uh, people don't have basements because years ago, um, where I live, there I live, you know, it was like swampland. Uh, if you dig deep enough in the ground, you're going to hit sand. So they did, they don't make basements. Um, and so I know from living in the Chicagoland area, that was always a big problem. Thankfully, um, the homes that I lived in, we didn't have much a problem with flooding, but I had friends and family that their houses would flood so bad. Um, so here, what happens is the streets flood really bad, but we are really lucky. Uh, we didn't have any flooding. A um, couple days after the uh, right bad rainstorms, we went out for the day and it was just gorgeous. I mean, I did a little Snapchat just real quickly and, you know, it just, it. if I didn't see a little bit of a little bit of water still left from the rains, I wouldn't have believed there was a storm because there was hardly any damage. Okay, we're going on 14 minutes. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to ask you, um, I was looking at some of my videos just a couple minutes ago. I haven't done a Q&A video for a while. And so I'm going to ask you, if you have a question about me, um, please leave it in the comments section and within the next couple of videos that I do, I will record a, my husband just came home, so kind of telling him to go that way. <laughs> anyway, uh, I will do a Q&A answer video for you. Uh, I will answer your questions, um, be imaginative. I don't know if there's something you wanna know about me or my life or experiences, please leave it down below. Um, that would be great, and uh, I will I'll do that because it's actually about 
it's weird how Facebook, uh, Facebook, YouTube can be because it marks the comments like a year. But I did that video about almost three years ago. But anyway, um, there are some newer people here that are part of my uh, YouTube family. And so, like I said, just put the questions down below and I will answer them. I hope that you all are doing well. And if you were in the area of the hurricanes and bad storms, I hope that, no worries. I hope that um, you didn't have much damage and most of all that you are okay. Because remember, uh, items can be replaced. It's you that can't be replaced. Have a good evening, um, morning, day. I've forgotten my phrase. Just have a good time, a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. I gotta put my glasses on to stop this. I sound like Susie Clancy. Shout out to Susie. Oh. Okay. Bye bye.